When the community makes his office the measure of the man, when in one of its citizens it prizes nothing but memory, in another a mere tabularizing intelligence, in a third only mechanical skill, when, in the one case, indifferent to character, it insists exclusively on knowledge, yet is, in another, ready to condone any amount of obscurantist thinking, as long as it is accompanied by spirit of order and law-abiding behavior. When, Moreover, it insists on special skills being developed with a degree of intensity which is only commensurate with its readiness to absolve the individual citizen from developing himself in extensity. Can we wonder that the remaining aptitudes of the psyche are neglected? in order to give undivided attention to the one which will bring honor and profit.